Thank you so much for joining me on the Unfinished Workout. Unfinished Workout, we have so many. Today, as I bring you into my journey, as I get ready to uh, keep uh, improving myself and getting into the what I call the tunnel of creation, I bring you with me so you see how real it is. Uh, how you go through different things in life and get uncomfortable and just face it and keep going and and and, and again, what is that other on the other side of fear? And, and I want you to come with me. I want you to see uh, how human I am, how I'm connected I am with you, and uh, how much power you have within yourself. And all you have to do is believe. Thank you so much for coming into this journey with me. Uh, uh, from the bottom of my heart, honestly, thank you. If you're not seeing me live, then you see me in a little bit, and that's all good. Um, I want to go into some experiences I had uh, in life and as a trainer in my almost 20-year uh, career where I go into these uh, situations with uh, people, clients, and um, how they wanted to follow their dreams, and they have these, these blockages. And in a little bit, I read you some things from my book that relate even more to this, but before, uh, there's, there's moments when, when I'm working with people, uh, we're going through uh, certain uh, d different exercises, and I say to do some things where I believe they should be able to do, because I know that through different assessments um, that I do before working with people, and how they're doing the exercises, and they think they kind of do certain things that they're already doing in the moment, and what is the blockage from that. So um, I want to read something uh, real quick from my book um, from different experiences. In this particular one, uh, this client, Bobby, is, uh, I read one day I placed him uh, on the balance board without initially telling him what it was. So he didn't even know uh, the environment he was afraid of. I began speaking with him about daily things to distract him uh, while he successfully was balancing on the balance board. After less than one minute, I now seen that he was actually standing on the balance board. Uh, it was that easy. It, it was that easy. Uh, he looked almost embarrassed uh, as the prejudice of his limitations instilled by someone else. Here we go with the someone else. It could be a family member. Uh, it could be your doctor telling you you can do certain things. And I have a, a little bit of an issue with this because in certain situations, they, uh, people that have or you are to believe that they have more power over yourself, you give them the permission to get into your life and make decisions about you. And I, I still get so amazed by it, how much power we give to someone that is with, with a lot less power than yourself. So I, I want to wake up, wake you up about that. Uh, look at your surroundings, uh, who you hang out with, who, what are these people are, uh, saying about you, commenting about you, and how much permission you give to them to get into your being, right? Going back to uh, posture, the, the antenna, how, how well is your antenna to get these messages and do something with them? You know, are you hunched the whole day and you're hearing these things? Are you straight, receiving light, and being able to make decisions on that? So think about these things. So that someone else uh, that, that was erased from his mind, uh, he, he was surprised and all oh, unhappy. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't even know he was standing on the balance board. He looked like until, what was that? Uh, he was surprised and all oh, unhappy. He did not even know what a balance board was uh, or looked like until I told him he was standing on one. Instead, he had blindly believed the comment and, his limit, and limited his own abilities in his own mind without even knowing what a balance board was, based merely on what someone else said to him in the past. In my own experience, it happened to us at different levels, right? Like, we, nobody has the perfect life. We all have different experiences, and one here, one here, one here, one here. But we all are um, creating and, and trying to get out of, like, what we think is mediocre for our life, and we try to go up and up. Like, this weekend, I was, like, hanging out with a friend. We're, we're setting up this uh, uh, little uh, basketball court with the little toy basketball ring and the little ball, and I go out there, and I go really far, and I just go shoot, and I make it from very far away. And so he looked at me and said, like, wow, you made that. 
And then I take the ball again, and I go again, and I didn't make it. And then I take it again, and I didn't make it. I, and I take it, and I, I, I never made another shot again. And he himself made the, made the comment of like, wow, you know, like, when nobody was telling you anything, when you, when you wasn't the quiet, you had no problem of making the shot. As long as you heard someone, you doubted yourself. Even if, even if that person is not trying to hurt you or put you down, it's just the simple comment that we allow people to get into our brain, our system, it played a role even on my fingers when I was like trying. And then eventually you practice and you practice and you practice, but it was never a flow anymore. It was a push of, of oh, what am I doing mechanically wrong? Like, what, what am I doing when uh, I'm not eating the right thing? And I'm going a little bit in exaggeration of what I went through because that's where we allow it ourselves in a normal life when people make comments about, you not be able to do that. Like the other day we were uh, with the client in the gym and we we're rotating and doing different things and we we're rotating and, and the person say, well, I haven't been able to, uh, I, I cannot do this. The person said, I cannot do this. And I said, well, you just did it. So what is that blockage? What is that perfection that we look for that you think you're not doing things when you're actually in the middle of doing the thing itself? and we do it with, with, with everything in life. We do it with uh, 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 eating, we do it with uh, uh, going out for a walk uh, based, on, uh, based on this mentality of your workout always have to be uh, uh, a killer. Everything, everything has to be so hard. You know, a walking is not enough. Or a walk can be enough for you at the stage where you are. A walking can be enough for me on weekends where I work like the whole week with people helping people and pouring myself into others, maybe you might work out this weekend just to go for a walk instead of going and trying to survive a kind of training that media or other trainers tell me that I should do. So this mentality of um, wanting to work out and feeling like you're beat up all the time, first, it's not for everyone. Second, are you ready for it? It's your physiological load, which are like, all your systems ready to uh, get beat up that day. Um, so that there's many things that are a lot more important than maxing out in the gym and lifting up so much weight. That, by the way, doesn't tell me that you're better or worse than me if you lift more than me because it's what you can lift that day. So that's another thing that we uh, need to study, to internalize, and to really think like, if lifting more weight than you, in my case as a trainer, if lifting more weight than you really makes you better than me. Like, does that make you better on court? Does that make you better on the field? Does that make you better runner? Just like, yes, I know. So it's, it really, it's, what I'm trying to do with this is to encourage you to find out what is that really works for you. And that takes me, I wasn't gonna read this to you, but, uh, I'm, I'm so into it and I know you're there listening to me because I, I know I'm clicking some things in the brain and my job is to wake up thoughts in you. It's not that I'm this magic trainer like I'm about to, to read here, but just I want to have enough information so you can like make a decision about moving forward in your life, in whatever you're doing. So I'm not a magic trainer. I just believe that my clients can do things with their bodies that they cannot even imagine that they can do. If I do not believe, I cannot be helpful to clients who need positive reinforcements to go beyond their own limitations. People do not get into a, physical, uh, into a poor physical condition overnight, nor is the physical condition only physical. That is what Interior Fitness, the book, it's all about and, uh, uh, it's all about and the reason for it. So, enough of thinking that this is it. This is the result of who you are inside. So as you may heard before, might have heard before, your organs are more important than your muscles and that what we can see. So the way we take care of those things is to nurturing yourself with the right food so you can actually flourish and do things for yourself. So 
I go back, I backtrack a little bit to the weekend because again, I am as human as you. I'm making it, I work with people to move forward, but we all go through that at the same time and what we give permission to and what we're trained to uh, listen to and how we let other people have that power in your life to, to run you. So that's a little bit uh, uh, of a concern as, as we move forward, you know, like, I mean, this, this particular person, like how much he changed his life by just standing on a simple balance board. Like for me, I knew a balance board is just like, right, a piece of equipment that, that means nothing when, when you take it physically, right? It's just a little ball in there with some wood on the top and, and it's, it's nothing. But how much it meant to this person that you could tell sometimes through vibrations and people don't have to tell you anything. And I could tell at that moment how much his life changed. And I imagine, I can only imagine when someone is um, rude enough or um, smart enough to, to, or arrogant enough to tell you, for example, how much you have to leave. Nobody tells anybody how much you have to leave. You leave what you want to leave with the desire you have to leave. And the environment again that surrounds you like we need to stop these things and this is more for coaches this time where where stop putting self-limiting belief on yourself and on people and just keep working on ourselves to really have something to give to others so they can be even better than you so we bring the belief i bring the belief to you but then it's up to you to keep going right to what is that you have to offer to yourself? What is that you're going to, uh, um, if you think like universal enough, godly, godly like, like what is that you have to offer your creator? Uh, here, I'll show you. Like mom and dad, here, I'll show you. I could be better than you. What is that you have to do to bring to the table that you can do what you got to do to move forward and to create within your own life? So, um like that many times, right? With the, the, the examples, like we would never stop. Um, there's so many things that, that we go through. Um, I am as human as you are, and I wanted to share those things with you. So today in my training, I got some golden tickets. I got to like uh, read better on my training, uh, speak a little better, do better with my homework. Um, I'm moving forward little by little. And I don't know if you see it, maybe you see it, maybe not, but it's a feeling. I feel it that you move, I am moving forward. I'm moving forward for myself. I'm moving forward to create more within myself to move you forward. So um, like, thank you so much when, uh, when you tune in and, and when you take your uh, time from a, a busy life to um, have some time with me in here and see how I like pro progress and do, do things in my career um, from the time where I moved to to the States, right, in 1993, no English, uh, changing my environment, uh, food was different, uh, it was really cold, I mean, like all these things that I could somehow learn really early in my life that my environment wasn't hurting me, my environment was building me. So I, here I am today with uh, so many struggles uh, uh, that I've been through that, that maybe are over or maybe not. But how we take these things, how we take the messages through the antenna to go into life, to keep getting better, and to keep nurturing ourselves in order to glow, and then cause that in other people. So, so the belief, the secret of the belief is really you. You are doing what you need to do, and everything that you do has value to your development. So Stop being so hard on yourself. If you're rotating, you're rotating and you're doing it. If you're not balancing well and then you stand on your, le on your leg, you give yourself thanks and pat yourself on the back and celebrate the fact that you just did it. Look yourself in the mirror, don't be too hard and move forward. So things don't have, they don't have to be as pretty as we think they should be in order to keep advancing and feeling better. 
You know, and advancing doesn't mean that you're just going to, uh, tomorrow your life is going to change. Maybe it will change, but maybe, you know, the, the little, little steps going up and up and up, going up or breaking even today and not being hard. And then, like, you go up tomorrow and then a little bit more, then that's what we're looking for. Just like Santa Claus, like I told you in the preview. Remember those days when this guy came into your house and now that we think about it, it's kind of creepy, but, <laughs> but uh, think about these things. Like how? Again, that was somebody else, right? Like feeding your mind into it. You bought into it and you believe, but you believe. So, so now I'm trying to get your mind into it again to make you believe what you can do. It's already there. You don't need, you don't need new shoes to go work out. You don't even need a gym to work out. I even have a chapter here that says get out of the gym because all you need is you. So bring that, be honest with yourself, be open to be fit and welcome yourself just like you are. And then bring your measurements that you have into your head a little down, welcome you and go for it. So um, next week I will be, uh, um, answering some questions, um, and you can send them to me uh, whenever you want. Um, what I want to get with you, and all of these things is, is like I have a friend that is a, uh, I call him a, a famous hairstylist, and uh, in this environment, people do with their hair whatever they want to do, and they change it like almost monthly or weekly. They do different things to it, and sometimes I make comments to him about, you know. And, and so many of you that know me know that I may come sometimes like, you have these days where you think you look amazing and you have these days where you think you look okay, right? I made that comment to him and of course he said, well, it's your hair. So you have like a good hair day, you look good, you look hot. You have some this ugly hair day and you don't look that good. But it's really, it's really, it's really as I keep giving my thought, more thoughts to this, is how you see yourself. Right, that just hair is in the outside. Dig a little bit more, ask yourself like what's looking through you and then work on yourself and move forward. So please send your questions, um, read my book. <laughs> I got so many cool stories here um, that, uh, that I not only will move you, but you can also use it to move the people that you love. So. Um, with that being said, um, I thank you so much. I mean, this, this means a lot to me. To That is you, the one that's making me comfortable. That is me, the one that filter how you feel me. But at the end of the day, it is my decision to feel how I feel. Thank you so much. Um, I, I know I will see you next week. Share these things. Uh, they come straight from my heart and my brain which I, like you saw in the last post, is a huge connection between the, the heart and the brain, right? The things that we want, but the things that you really want to follow, the things that you're calling, the things that you know is right, but that the media drives you to, like, whatever you think. You know, like how they instill these thoughts in yourself. But really, you know, and like I wrote on the book also, like when you follow your heart, it always takes you to the place where you need to be and we just fight with it, but don't fight anymore. Go for it, believe, you're already rotating. For me, you're already making those shots. And for you, you're already balancing on the balance board and uh, live your life. So this is the unfinished workout. Remember, questions uh, next Friday. Uh, check out my book if it calls you. If not, wait, wait for the right moment to click on it and uh, we'll go from there. So I cannot say thank you enough. Uh, thank you so much.